All right, students, here is another practice exercise for you. I won't say problem. It's only a problem if you don't know how to do it. This one's just an exercise. I'm calling this one making new carbon-carbon bonds. So here you have your reactants. Mm, we got ourselves some benzene. We got ourselves uh, some bromopropane, one bromopropane. And then that, do you remember what that is? That is an acyl halide, something that's a little bit unusual. And here is the product that we're making. So I want you to take a few minutes, uh, study the reactants, study the products. If you need to, write them down in your own paper and just uh, think about what kinds of reactions we might be doing here to make new carbon-carbon bonds. Even if you're not totally sure, study these a little bit and see what do these make you think of when you see benzene, when you see this compound right here, when you see this compound right here, and take a good look at the product, right? The product is a substituted benzene, and we have ourselves some tertiary alcohols. So go ahead and pause the video for a minute and just have a look and think about what you might want to do. I'll wait. Now that you've had a chance to study these for a few minutes, you might be thinking about what reactions are involved with this, right? So we're making new carbon-carbon bonds. Remember, there are two different kinds of reactions that we've talked about recently that you can use to make new carbon-carbon bonds. One involves reactants uh, that are aromatic like benzene. You'll remember the Friedel-Craft alkylation and the Friedel-Craft acylation, right? So that's one option. And both of these products could actually do those Friedel-Craft type reactions. Let's look down here. What do we notice about this particular isomer that we formed in terms of the ortho -meta -para? right? This product is, say it with me, the meta product. Yes, very good, the meta product. Right? If you think about alkylation and acylation, only one of those uh, is a meta director that tends to give you the meta product. Right? So which one is that? If you're not sure, take a minute and look back at your benzene and EAS director sheet. Do you have that handy? You can pause the video, I'll wait. Right? When you look at that, right, only acylation gives you the meta product. That might suggest to you that your first step is actually to combine this and this. If you look at that and you're like, that seems dang weird, I don't even know what that is. We've only talked about these kind of compounds in one context. The only context we've ever talked about them is this Frito Crafts acylation, right? So it's probably not for something else. So let's actually combine these two first. You're gonna need two moles or two equivalents of this. If the first one adds here, oops, we're going to get a product like this. That's like a ketone, right? The first one is a meta director, which means it's going to add the second one in the meta position. Both of those are the same. So let's say this one down here. Voila. So now we're halfway there. We have this. We want to make this. Now, if you notice, the new carbon-carbon bonds we're making are away from the benzene ring. Right? If they're away from the benzene ring, then we cannot use electrophilic aromatic substitution. We have to use the other reaction that we talked about that makes new carbon-carbon bonds. That would be our good buddy, the Grignard reaction. For Grignard, what we need is something like a halo alkane. Do we happen to have a halo alkane? Why, yes we do. Let's look at that. Right? So we have this one, this three carbon halo alkane. If we react this with magnesium, in the presence of ether, we're going to make, I'll put it over here, MgBr. Ooh, now this, we know reacts with ketones here and here. If we have two of these, right, this can react here, poop, right? And you can get a reaction here. You can also get a reaction here. Ketones will make tertiary alcohols. And so that's how we get our product. These three carbons, this one, this one, and this one, are these three carbons, one, two, three, right? This was the new bond that got formed in the Grignard reaction, right? We could erase that for a minute and go back and check our work. Oh, this looks a little bit like this, right? So this is the Grignard reaction. Ta-da! 
And that's how you can make this product from these reaction, re reactants using two different reactions to make carbon-carbon bonds, a Friedel-Crafts type reaction in electrophilic aromatic substitution, and also Grignard.